Vince. And we're, we're in the kitchen in here, and, and, and please, please forgive me. I cannot pronounce your name. I'm not even going to try because I will butcher it. Will you please Natalia. pronounce it? Natalia. Natalia. Give me your full name, Natalia. Natalia Pivenevs. See, now you say it. Natalia I could get. Natalia? Pivenevs. Pivenevs. Yes. And the name of the restaurant? Udinish. Udinish. <laughs> Perfect. Hey. Who's better than me? I feel like the Fonz. Hey. <laughs> Where's the restaurant located? It's on Warren Ave, 579 Warren Ave, not too far from you guys. Fantastic. A few of your guys oh, go there. Well, great. So you got a lot of stuff that you brought we do. for me. Tell me what you brought and what you're going to cook for us. So one of the dishes that sells very well at the restaurant is very popular is the Kanpur Kalanchana. So for you guys, that would be the pork and little necks with the mm -hmm. potatoes. And um, it sells quite well. It's the most popular dish. That's your most popular dish? That is. That, the steak, there's a few others, but that's the number one dish. What makes that so good? I think it's the fact that the pork is marinated. Really? And the sauce that is rendered from that marinade. And how process. long is it marinated and what is it marinated in? Must be marinated overnight. Overnight and in that's what? That's how you get it. All of these beautiful ingredients. Okay. So we have the salt, the red hot sauce, paprika, granulated garlic, not garlic powder, mm -hmm. white wine, red wine, and that all sits overnight. Right. And then we sear it, we add the little necks, and we fry off the potatoes, yeah. add it all together, and we have that. Real quickly, where did you learn to cook? My mother, my father, and the fact that I've been in the restaurant business since I was 10. Well, great. Good for you. Thank you. We're going to start when we come back. Does that sound good to you? Fantastic. All right. Super. Thank you. My pleasure. And thank you so much with the name. <laughs> it's no problem. You're the best. I don't care. Back to you guys. I tell you what, we're making potatoes. Tell me a little bit a little bit about these potatoes. Is this a side dish or is this? This is actually going to be included in the pork. So it's a it's a one dish meal. All the uh, the pork is seared. Once the pork is almost seared, we add the potatoes to it, which have been fried. We add the little necks, and we let everything finish in the frying pan, and then we plate it up, and that's what you get. And the juices all kind of come together. You in bet. The flavor. Oh, so let's start it up. How do we how do we make these? So you get some Idaho potatoes, and you've got to cut them up. And here we have them, and we just put Put them in, hopefully we don't get any backsplash from it. And there's just a little little chunks, bite-sized chunks. Little bite-sized right? chunks. You want to be able to make sure everything is cut evenly, all in the same size. And then how long does this cook in here when you're frying them? Probably about, I'm going to say four minutes until they're okay. really nicely golden brown, which we've done some. Uh -huh. And we have some ready in the oven to go. Why don't you go ahead and grab them out? Sure. Because I also want to point out that we have, you guys made, came out with a cookbook, didn't My you? My father came out with a cookbook that he's been working on for quite some time. And what I think was interesting about this cookbook, and by the way, we're going to be giving it away, um, and we'll tell you how we're doing that in just a moment, but it's in Portuguese. It is. But the measurements are in are American, American essentially because it's so difficult to cook with the metric system and have a reference book to go back and forth from the yeah. recipe to the measurements that he decided to take the recipes that he has and do it in our system that's great so if you or someone you love speaks speaks Portuguese we'd love to give you a copy of this cookbook and we're going to tell you how we can do that in just a moment for now though I'm going to sample one of these <laughs> potatoes delicious wait until we get the whole thing together back over to you guys we are back in the Rocho kitchen with Natalia from Udinish. 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 Udinish restaurant in East Providence, correct? Correct. On what, Warren Avenue? Warren Avenue, 579 Warren Avenue. Now, here's the thing. We don't want to say what Udinish means in English because right now we're giving yes. away this cookbook in Portuguese on our Facebook page. So if you know what Udinese means, mm -hmm. and you can tell us, then you're going to get this cookbook. And actually, we have yeah. a couple of them, so uh, don't hesitate to uh, enter your answers. And who is, who is that your father? That's on the my cover? father, yep. That's great. He's worked uh, for quite some time on that book. It's recipes, mainly his recipes and friends. And they're in Portuguese, Super. but the uh, measurement is uh, an American form of measurement. So. Right. Very cool. Well, a lot of people, obviously, in, in this whole state speak Portuguese, yeah. read Portuguese. Absolutely. So there is a, a huge Portuguese audience. Portuguese channel, Portuguese right? bank, Portuguese food. It's great. <laughs> Portuguese radio station. That's right. Yeah. What do we have here? So we're searing the pork, which, if you guys could help me out. Sure, what do you need? I would like to have all of the pork in this bowl and all okay. of these ingredients with it. We marinate the pork overnight, and all of these ingredients go in it. It sits in the fridge overnight. And um, the next day, when you're ready, you sear it. Very and nice. that's where we're here now. And oh, what is so all that salt goes salt? in Salt, yep. This is one tablespoon of salt. Of course, Three salt. tablespoons, yes. We we'll, we'll use kosher. Okay. Three tablespoons of the red hot. One tablespoon and a half of the, teaspoon and a half of paprika. 
teaspoon of half and a half of degranulated garlic, mm. one cup of the white wine, and a half a cup of the red wine. Yeah. Now that all sits together in its happy place. In, the in its happy place. In its happy place. <laughs> in its happy place. And it's all marinating and the juices are soaking it into is. the meat. If you don't do this mm -hmm. the night before, you're Forget not going to be able to get the sauce. Okay. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. All right. So, so we've got that going. I'm going to okay. let that go. Done. And this is what it looks like when it's ready to go, which I've used some and saved some. Yeah. This is what it'll oh, look like. Okay. We sear Hold it. Hold that up for a second so we can get a look at that. So Rick can get a look at that. Over there. And then do you sear this in an oil or go. is this in its own juices? This is in a little and bit so, of oil. And so you can there see. Let me try to do this real quick if I can. You can see. The difference. The difference on how that right. marinade, on how that and really sucks it up. Yeah. You see that? Yeah, it really absorbs the yeah. flavor. So then you have a little bit of olive oil starting to cook up the fork. Sear it up. Now, uh, Elizabeth, if you would be able to help sure. me out and Put add a little mix. Here. Okay. I have about four to six little mix. This is probably a serving okay. for probably two people. And, of mm. course, they'll open up as we're cooking. They will. And we do like to use fresh. We, we need the water of the little mix to mix with the rest of it to create the juice. Mm -hmm. So you need that briny water from the little mix. Very nice. And we just let it sit there and stir it up. When they're almost ready, we're going to add the potatoes, if you would like to add those potatoes. Sure, I'll put these now, in. now, of course, we know clams and oysters are done when they open. Absolutely. I'm going to steal this one. And then we're going <laughs> to add our beef stock. That's your beef stock, okay. That's our beef stock. And our beef stock will reduce. And once it's reduced, the little necks should open and everything will come together. And this is what we end up with. Now, is this, this a is traditional? This is the final product this over here. This is the final product. And this is a that traditional is meal, right? This is Portuguese? very much a traditional meal. At mm -hmm. the restaurant, this is one of the most popular dishes we oh. have there. It's great because it's a one-pot meal. It's easy. Right. And anyone can do this. And you one. get some bread with it. You get a chance to sop yeah, up uh, right. some of the juice. That's you right. You need lots of bread yeah. because of the sauce. Absolutely. Well, I tell you what. We have uh, some plates here, and maybe yeah. we'll just get a little scoop of the dish here. All right. Fantastic. Vince, I'm going to give you... Um, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move this. Oh, you know what? We've got some... Now, oh, yeah, you have some dessert. That's the dessert right. is, show some of this. Is this flan? So this is flan by right. Linda, and this flan is pretty tremendous as far as we're concerned. It's pretty awesome. Try it out. It's fantastic. You, you want me to try the flan? Go for oh, it, okay. yeah. Right. And then this is another dessert that we have at the restaurant. Now, this is made with an ingredient that you probably wouldn't think of mm. a dessert would be made of. It's made with white cannellini beans. No flour. Wait, there I, gotta, go. I do want to try that. You've got to try that. It's pretty try amazing. That. What's this here? Are these, are these shrimp? Those are shrimp. And what's so special about these shrimp? It's the oh fact God. that they are, have the saffron sauce, the garlic, right. the wine, all of that, and it mm. sears really this well. This is beans. But would you ever, would you ever be able I to I would have that never been able to. Mm. Isn't that we amazing? So those shrimp are good. Mm. And there's no flour in it, so for mm. those people who have a gluten issue, this is perfect. I'm going to have a little more This flour. is one of our very popular dishes there as well, which is the whole fish. It's we fry fish, right? sea bass. We do red snapper. We do a variety of different fish, but generally mm -hmm. we serve it whole, grilled or fried. Tell people now, wait, once is again. Is that fried? That is fried. That looks fried, yeah. It's my favorite way to eat. Ooh. Tell mm -hmm. people once again where your restaurant is located. Udinese is on 579 Warren Ave in East Providence. All right. And if you Udinese. <laughs> and if you want to grab the cookbook, head to our Facebook page right now. Yes. Answer our question, and we'll send you one. Fantastic. Thank you so very much. My pleasure. It was Thank a you. pleasure being here and meeting you. Fantastic. Nice I can't wait to try it all. Michelle Muscatello. <laughs>